Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Emma J Muse. Today is the video that I promised you guys of the French Bulldog versus the Boston Terrier. I kind of just want to make these videos so people can understand the differences. I've noticed a lot that people get confused between all these different breeds um, that kind of look alike to the Frenchie. I do own a French Bulldog named Rocket, so that's kind of why I get inspiration for these videos. I go to the dog park and people are like, oh, where'd you get your pug or where'd you get your Boston Terrier? And I'm just like, he's neither of those, he's a French Bulldog. So with that being said, I did make a video of the French Bulldog versus the pug and their differences and I'll link that down below, but this is going to be a video describing the French Bulldog versus the Boston Terrier. I believe these two dogs are more mistaken than the Frenchie and the Pug, and that's just because they look so much similar to each other. And that makes sense because they both come from the mixing of English Bulldogs. But the difference is that the Boston Terrier is made out of the English Bulldog, the Pitbull, and the Bull Terrier as well as the Frenchie, so the Frenchie is in the Boston Terrier's genes. So that explains why they look so much like French Bulldogs because they're actually in their genetics. The Frenchie was of course bred first and then the Boston Terrier was bred here in America in you guessed it Boston. These two dogs are both non-sport breeds. Um, they work in similar ways and they look very similar. The difference is that the Boston Terrier is leaner and taller. They can get up to 36 centimeters tall and weigh around 10 to 25 pounds. The French Bulldog is of course shorter. The French Bulldog is of course more shorter and muscular are usually between 33 centimeters and they weigh 17 to 28 pounds so they are heavier. Like I said in the beginning, these dogs are so much alike. They have the same snouts, the same big eyes the same body. They also do have the same type of coat. They have a fine hair that sheds very minimal. They don't have double coats at all. They actually have fine hair. Then that means that they're not really gonna get warmth from it. So you can see these breeds with different types of sweaters or coats to keep them warm during the winter. The Boston Terrier usually comes in three markings and that's the black, seal, and brindle. And they always have to have that white line. I think that's like the most infamous look for the Boston Terrier. In French Bulldogs, they're called Pied. And they also have that white line. Rocket kind of has a little bit going on, like very thin. But I'll put a picture of the Pied French Bulldog and a Boston Terrier. Boston Terriers are always going to have that line going in the middle of their face and on their chest. Oh, also another difference you could look for in their physical attributes is they both have pointy ears, but the thing that's different is that French Bulldogs have a rounded end of their ear, while Boston Terriers are actually pointy. They're like pointy pointy. And I'll of course put pictures, but yeah, that's also a difference. It's a very small difference, but it's a difference. And like I said in the previous videos, French Bulldogs just come in so many varieties of colors because there's just too many, so I'm just gonna leave it at that while the Boston Terrier only has three main colors that it comes in. So the Boston Terrier is leaner, and I feel like that's a big contribution to them having a more energetic kind of feel to them. I do have a cousin that has a Boston Terrier, and he is more energetic. And I feel like that comes with different personalities as well, like my brother has a French Bulldog, and she's very energetic, and Rocket is over here very lazy, always sleeping. But I do feel like Boston Terriers have a little bit more movement going on because they're so much slimmer than the French Bulldog. French Bulldogs, I feel, are tend to be more lazy because they're more heavier and they can't really move around as much. Um, and then another difference is that you can tell Boston Terriers are more eager to please their owners, while French Bulldogs can be more stubborn. They don't really want to do anything for their owners. Um, Boston Terriers are gonna want to do more things and I feel like I've said that so many times with other breeds but it's just that the French Bulldog is known to be a stubborn breed and the last thing I want to mention of course is their lifespan so again French Bulldogs only live up to around 10 years while the Boston Terrier lives up to 12 to 14 years and again I do not get this I was just looking and researching around the internet and again Boston Terriers do have more health problems than French Bulldogs. I want to say 
French Bulldogs probably live less because they're heavier and stockier. I don't know why that would contribute to their lifespan, but maybe that's something to look for. But again, I'm not too sure. This is just assumptions um, because I don't really get all that. But besides all that, that's the differences and similarities of French Bulldogs and Boston Terriers. I wanted to make this video a little less shorter than the last one, get straight to the point. So these are kind of my points to differentiate the two breeds. I hope you guys learned a little something. But at the end of the day, both breeds are super friendly. They are great family pets and, and can live in small areas like apartments very comfortably because they are quite small and they don't bark a lot. If you guys have any more questions, of course, leave them down in the comments down below. I will be more than happy to answer them. But yeah, I hope you guys learned a little something. And if you guys want to watch more videos, please go and check out my channel. I do have a lot more informational videos. And if you guys aren't interested in this type of content, I also do entertaining videos and vlogs with the dogs. So go ahead and check it out. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we will catch you guys in the next one.